In this video, I'm creating a chess bot from scratch. First, I'm going to play a game against it. Then, I will explain how it works and some improvements I made. Finally, I will play a second game against my bot before it challenges Martin, one of chess.com's bots. Here's the first game against it. I figured out how to host it on Lee Chess to have a nicer looking board. And so we're going to play a game against it and see how we do. Okay, so I'm gonna attack the queen. I tried to make the engine really care about material, as in it will not just give away material for no reason. So that was a check. I'm gonna take this back. And I'm still attacking the queen, so let's see if my engine sees that. Yes, okay. I will develop my knight. Eventually I'm gonna play bishop d6 to hit the queen again, but I don't really want to play e6 because it blocks my light squared bishop. Unless I choose to develop my light squared bishop this way, since it would block my bot from castling. That seems like a good idea, honestly. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play e6 so I could play bishop d6 and castle. And if the bot decides to play develop their knight, I'm gonna go bishop a6 to prevent them from castling. Okay, so tons of queen moves. <laughs> So now I can't develop my bishop unless I want to give away my g7 pawn. I'm just going to play rook b1, put my rook on a semi-open file. Always a good move. And let's see what my engine does. <laughs> okay, well that does attack my rook. But I wanted to play bishop d6 and now they're making it look extra good. So why would they move the why would the engine just move the queen back and forth like that? I guess really just to do the attack. I suppose it also controls central squares, which my engine likes to do. So that attacks two pawns. I think this should defend both of them. So if it were me, I would try to develop my knight or play a move like d4 maybe to develop okay. So I'm going to get castled. Queen back. <laughs> so many queen moves. I will develop this bishop here because that looks like a good diagonal. My pawns are mostly on light squares, so I wouldn't mind trading away this bishop. I could play this move. Get rid of my doubled pawns. Okay. I like to see that. And they w shouldn't be able to go knight b5 because I have that covered multiple times. If I push this pawn with the idea of pushing forward, I'm wondering if there would be any tactics. Remove the defender, but I don't think there is. Remove the defender of this pawn, say going b3, forcing my bishop back, and then d5 pawn would be loose. Okay, so now the, now the d5 pawn is loose, but I think I should be fine. I'm preventing them from castling. So I think I'm actually doing much better than they are. All right, the, I keep saying they, it's a bot, it. What? <laughs> King d1. I'm just gonna go d4. Let's try to open things up. Hoping to open the d file. Get to the king. I have ideas of going rook to c8. Doubling up on that. So let's do that. Rook c8. My position just looks much stronger. So they did see that they had to defend the pawn. So I will play bishop b4. Trying to remove the defender. Okay, it missed it. So I'm gonna take the take the knight, and on the next move I can take this pawn and I'll finally be up material. Yeah, because I think going back, taking here with the threat of mate was very strong, so so I guess the engine didn't want that. Whoa. Okay, my engine's gone crazy. <laughs> engine is not quite strong enough yet, but that means there's room for improvement. Let's go for this. So the idea is do something like this. I think my engine might resign soon. It has this weird bug where if it sees chip forced mate in under five moves, it just stops playing. Okay. It's probably gonna play king a3 to make it difficult for me. What's if 
fastest way to mate. So my threat is rook a7. The engine's gonna play king a6. <laughs> it's really making it difficult for me to win. <laughs> my annoying chess engine. Okay, I'm making a queen, so. Queen. Okay, it resigned. Well, I won. So how does my bot work? Well, first it needs to evaluate a given chess position. And it does this pretty much the same way that we do. My bot took into account five aspects of the game when evaluating a position. The first one is material balance. Each piece had a score. I chose to give pawns a score of one, knights 3.2, bishops were 3.3, rooks 5 and queens 9. Then my bot counted how many of each piece white had and how many of each piece black had. It added up the scores for each side and subtracted white score from black score to give an overall material balance score. The second factor was piece mobility. So in a given position if it's white's turn how many legal moves does white have and for each of those legal moves how many does black have on average. This is a little more complicated but essentially Essentially, the piece mobility score evaluates which side has more freedom to move their pieces, which is usually a good thing. The third factor was central control. A side got one point for every time it attacked one of the four central squares, and an additional half point for every time it attacked one of the other 12 central squares surrounding those four. The fourth factor was king safety. The closer the side's king is to the corner, the higher the score. Moreover, if there are more pawns in front of the king or more defensive pieces nearby, the score would be higher. The fifth and final factor was pawn structure. Doubled pawns and isolated pawns were penalized, whereas passed pawns were rewarded. In addition, the bot put different amounts of weight on the different evaluation factors. Material balance is more important than piece mobility, and king safety is generally more important than pawn structure. After my bot was able to evaluate any given position, it had to start picking which move was best. So for each legal move, my bot evaluated the resulting position and picked the move with the highest overall score. Now what this means is that my bot was evaluating at a depth of one. If you've ever used a chess engine before, you may have noticed the depth, and it grows if you give it more time. Modern engines can quickly get to a depth of 20 or more with no issues. After my bot was able to check one move deep, I gave it the ability to check even deeper. Given enough time, it could check all the possible positions after a certain number of moves, and it picked the move that leads to the position with the highest score. Obviously, the deeper it went, the longer it took, so I had to strike a balance between depth and time. Before the second game, I made some small modifications. My bot wasn't castling or developing its pieces as much as I would have hoped, so I added a bonus for having connected rooks. This would encourage the bot to develop its pieces and get castled. I also modified the weights. Material balance became the most important by far. Peace mobility was pretty much unconsidered. King safety was the second most important, followed by central control and pawn structure. Final game. If my bot castles in this game, then this would have been a success. For some reason, my bot has an aversion to castling, so I tried my best to make it like to castle. So let's see how it does. It responds with the Scandinavian defense. So I will take that. And I'm guessing it likes the Scandinavian defense because my bot really values central control, which it will get. Queen d5 will give it control of a lot of key squares in the center. Now I can develop with tempo and I think it will play check. Yeah, because that limits my piece mobility, since I only have a few moves to block check. Okay, developing. Nice, okay. So I'm liking, I'm liking how it's playing so far. So it's giving me the opportunity for some discovered attacks with my knight. I guess I will take it. So unless my bot goes queen d6, e6, sorry. I can take the knight and double the pawns. So let's see how the bot responds to this double discovered attack. Okay. So I will play d3 next with the idea of going bishop e3 to develop with tempo. It's exciting. So far it's not, it's not playing that bad. I'm gonna line my rook up with the queen. It may, it may have anticipated bishop d3 which is why it moved e3 which is why i moved the queen oh i th 
I think I can win material. Uh oh. So I'll take with the rook. I mean, my bot's not that strong, but it's not bad. I'm wondering, could it beat Martin? I think it could beat Martin. Next video, can Sammy's bot beat Martin? Let's just keep attacking. I also had bishop f4, which may have been strong. So I'll go a4 to defend my knight. I also may have had rook takes e7 with the discovered attack. But first I have to defend my knight. Mm. I'm gonna go for it, why not? Okay, I'm gonna take that bishop, I'm attacking the rook. Check. I'll go bishop f4 next. I will probably take that. Okay. It's honestly pretty cool that I was able to make a very simple bot and it actually plays decent moves. It's not like it's 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 great, but it's not bad. My bishop in return. So I will play queen d2 with the threat of bishop g5 pinning the queen to the king. No, it saw it. It saw it. Now I will take the rook. I'm threatening checkmate now. Will it see that? I also just hung my bishop. I'm threatening checkmate twice. So. But that defends checkmate. I will take with check. Gotta make the game interesting. So they're threatening mate. Or not mate, but to win some material. I'm not even beating it by that much. I am playing very quickly, so I might have missed some moves. How can we win quickly? Let's push the pawn. So now I'm threatening mate, and I think there's only one way to stop it. So I will play check, and then push my pawn again, after the king moves. This should be very good for me, because the rook cannot leave the 8th rank, because of queen c8 checkmate. I have queen c6 incoming, which would allow me to promote the pawn. So it's not looking too good for Sammy's bot. So I, I could just take the rook, but queen c6 looks very strong. I'm gonna play queen c6. Oh, they resigned. <laughs> so it sees mate in three, and the mate in three is rook to b7, queen c8, rook back to b8, and then queen takes. Now, where can we go from here? For one, I could significantly improve how my bot evaluates chess positions. My bot only considered a few different aspects of the position. Stockfish, on the other hand, considers hundreds of things, and you can go check them out yourself as it's all publicly available. All in all, this project taught me a ton about how to evaluate a chess position. And now, let's see if my bot can beat Martin. I was too curious. I wanted to see how my bot would do against Martin on chess.com. So Martin is around 250 rated and we'll start that game right now. So I have my bot open on one screen. I have this game against Martin open up and that's the one you're seeing. So my bot's gonna make moves and I will relay them onto this board. So the first move my bot plays is E3. <laughs> I'm excited to see. It's gonna happen. So Martin goes e5. It's definitely gonna play queen h5, knowing my bot. My bot loves the queen moves. Not queen h5, queen g4. So Martin goes for knight h3. That attacks the queen. So my bot plays queen to c4, getting out of that attack. Oh, and Martin grabs the center, the central pawn duo. d5, hits the queen, check. Martin blocks check. I think my engine will take that free pawn. Yeah, engine takes the pawn. Looks like my engine might win. So is my is my engine gonna take the rook? Moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> so Martin does have a lot of control of the center, but he's also hanging this pawn, which my engine does take. Oh, okay. takes another free pawn with check. Martin blocks that. My engine played e4. Attacking the knight. Martin moves the knight and is threatening a fork on c2. Defends it with knight a3. Martin castles. My engine's playing c3, kicking the knight. Martin retreats. Queen d5. So Martin is offering a queen trade. Okay, so my engine plays bishop b5 that adds an attacker to the knight. 
I'm pretty sure this just wins a piece. Is my engine gonna take the knight on C6? No. I think at this point the game's gonna get a little weird. I don't think my engine knows how to convert. D4, nice move. Getting more control of the center, opening up the dark squared bishop. Martin plays queen e8, self pinning. My engine, of course, loves material, takes the free pawn. I don't even know what Martin's doing. King, eight, king h7. And my en <laughs> king, king f, what is this? <laughs> what is this game? Bishop d8. My engine played queen d5. Martin goes for bishop c7. Okay, my engine took the knight. Exchange some pieces off. Knight b5, my engine plays. Martin saves his bishop. b4. Bishop a6 hits the knight and pins it actually to the king. So I guess a move like c4. This also works, queen c4. F6. My engine is up nine points of material though. My engine played e5. So it looks like they want to open a diagonal towards the king. Martin just takes the pawn with the queen. So yes, my engine develops with tempo. Queen f5 getting out of the attack. And another attacking move, knight h4. Martin retreats the queen. So my engine does play queen e4. So I thought f5 in response. Martin decides king g8. That knight's hanging, so maybe move it here or play a4 or move your queen back to c4 <laughs> with check knight g6 with the fork martin plays king h7 and this is a royal fork and my engine takes it will my engine take the queen i think it will take the queen i think we can be sure yes it takes the queen Martin plays knight e7. It's up 22 points of material. Can it convert? Okay, takes the bishop. It was free. Martin retreats their bishop. Queen f7. My engine takes it. Queen d8 with a four. So it plays queen e8. I think it evaluated that as a little bit better. My engine takes the pawn with check. Martin retreats, takes the bishop with check. Martin will slide his king over to the corner. My engine decides to take another pawn. How is it gonna convert? Of course, more material. Takes it with the bishop. So is it gonna play mate in one? It played it. Nice. So it looks like Martin was no match for Sammy's bot. I hope this video was both entertaining and instructive. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more chess content.